Hello everyone and welcome people of YouTube. Today I'm going to be talking about the Star Trek Mirror Universe Saga. <clears throat> now, the story is basically uh, disappointingly non-canon as all uh, apparently comic, as apparently all Star Trek related novels and graphic novels are, you know, again, which is disappointing because frankly, in my opinion, you know, uh, this this story just basically kicks Star Trek IV's ass. I mean, not to say that uh, Star Trek IV is bad, it's just that, well, this was way better, you know? <clears throat> and, uh, so, I mean, like, think about it. Like, w which would you rather want to, you know, watch? Uh, you know, start, you know, Captain Kirk fighting uh, an evil universe of himself and have space battles and stuff? Or Kirk, you know, what? wandering about in, you know, 1980s San Francisco calling people double dumbass or whatever, you know, right? So, yeah, like I said, um, the story takes place in, uh, about right after the events of Star Trek Three, and the, um, you know, um, as a result of which, uh, Spock is still in recovery after the ordeal of dying and coming back to life again, you know, um, yeah, sci-fi fantasy weird. That's why I love it. Um, you know, there's um, uh, Kirk is uh, and his you know ex are dealing with the death of their son or his estranged son, and the rest of the crew are you know kind of you know a little bummed out about you know the fact that they basically just screwed their careers to hell because the whole. Uh, stealing the main flagship and getting it destroyed and all that other stuff so yeah and um, but of course you know things are not all sunshine or puppy dogs and rainbows and dead suns because all of that stuff is gonna be because then the evil Kirk from the alternate universe comes in and with the intent to take over the world because he, or take over this universe, because you see he's, uh, you know, found a way to replicate the transporter malfunction thing that, uh, that we first see in the original series, so cool, like another Wrath of Khan type thing going on, and you know, he wants to, you know, of course, take over this universe, but he also has the backing of the entire Terran Empire behind him, you know. And, you know, so not only do, do, do they have to fight the evil Kirk, but he, they also have to, you know, find a way to stop the interdimensional invasion and stop the interdimensional war from happening. So, um, yeah, I got a lot of stuff to do. And I'll just, uh, without spoiling too much, I'll just say that well, spoiling minor spoilers is that, of course, the end result is, you know, adventures and cool and lots of fun, especially the battle between the good Kirk and evil Kirk with the whole space battle and other Enterprise versus the Excelsior. And yeah, it's really freaking awesome. And, um, and even the, uh, other Empire, the other universe is actually kind of interesting where they get like a brief glimpse, um, specifically in uh, where the two universes diverge, which uh, appears to be about uh, the Earth-Romulan War, where in, uh, in the universe that we know and love, you know, it was, you know, humans, it was kind of a stalemate being fought in outer space, but in their universe, you know, is in the Earth system and they lost, and, you know, then they had their big freedom fighting revolution thing, and you know, and now the whole thing was, you know, about oppressors becoming the dominant, fo about, I mean, about the oppressed becoming the oppressors, and, yeah. And, um, and anyway, um, even though, um, that and, and, you know, um, yeah, it was just really interesting, and, you know, again, you know, you can see the art right here, you know, <clears throat> and it's all very good, um, the, the one um, thing that I probably have to, is that it's sort of, like, the second half is kind of, um, I don't know, like, not quite as exciting as the first half, but even so, it is still a very fantastic, seer, fantastic thing to read, 
definite recommendation. I, I give this my personal, you know, personal comfort level recommendation rating of a five out of five. Yes, even though five out of five, definite recommendation. Even though uh, there's you know some stuff to like continuity to go on, you know they 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 get it through it pretty well. So you you know you kind of get the gist of what's going on, and you know it's just a fantastic read. You know, check it out. It's just great. Yeah. Anyway, um, next time on this show on Comic Cravings, we're going to be taking a look at the return of a show that I, of a thing that I previously thought was going to be just gone forever when I saw the movie and thought that was going to be it. Boom. Yeah. Anyway, um, until then, see you later. You know, keep yourselves awesome by going out, checking out your local libraries and supporting them with your patronage money and uh, donations and for people who are less fortunate or whatever. And have a nice day.